Hi there, welcome back to my mini series introducing the linked list data structure. In this third part of the series, we will examine an algorithm for inserting a node into the linked list. Let's begin. So this insertion algorithm is going to maintain an ascending order. This means that the nodes will be arranged according to some value that we're storing inside of the node. This value is known as a key. In this example, we will use a linked list that stores integers and we'll use the integers stored in each node as the key. This means that this list is going to be an ordered list. In order to accomplish this, we're going to need to do a few things. We're going to need to create the node, store the data in the node, locate the insertion point, and we'll use a loop to do that. And then finally, we'll need to insert the node. Let's examine the algorithm. So the first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to create our new node. We'll store the memory address of that new node in a pointer that we'll call n. Once we've done that, we'll store data in our new node. In this example, we'll store the value 10. If the list is empty, as indicated here by the head node pointing to null, then what we'll need to do is we'll need to set the head pointer to the memory address of our new node. In other words, we'll set head to n. This will make the new node the first node of the list. If the list is not empty, then we're going to need to find the first node whose value is greater than or equal to the new value or the end of the list, whichever is first. So let's take a look at this list here as an example. It's got four nodes. So the list is sorted in ascending order based off of the integers that each node is storing. So to find the insertion point, we're going to need to have two pointers. We'll call one of them prev and we'll initialize prev with the memory address of the head node. The second pointer we'll call cur and we'll initialize that with the memory address of the node immediately following the head node. Okay, so we will have a loop that is going to continuously advance these pointers so long as cur is not null and so long as cur's node has a value that's less than our new node's value. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how this works. Right, so let's assume that we want to insert a new value that is 35. Right, so the way the loop's going to work is uh, we're going to ask the question, is cur null? No. And is the value inside of cur's node less than our new value, which is 35? Yeah. Since both those things are true, we advance both of our pointers. We set cur to cur next, and we set prev to prev next. Is cur null? No. Is the value inside of cur's node less than our new value of 35? Yeah. So since both those things are true, we advance the pointers again. We set cur to cur next, we set prev to prev next. Okay. So is now is the value inside of cur null? No. Is the value inside of cur's node uh, less than our new value of 35? No. So the traversal stops and we found our insertion point. So let's do some insertion. Okay, so how's this gonna work? Well, the insertion depends upon the manipulation of the pointers and setting them up correctly. What we're gonna need to do is we're gonna use that prev, that trailing pointer prev, to set the next pointer of the node containing 30 to our new node, right? So we want 30 to no longer point at 40, we want the node that contains 30 to now point to the node that contains 35. So let's set prev next to n. Once we've done that, we need to set our new node's next pointer to our cur node. 
So what that means is that we need to set end next to cur. Once we've done that, our node has been successfully inserted into the list, maintaining our ascending order. We go from 10 to 20 to 30 to 35 to 40. Okay. All right, so let's summarize. In this video, we've introduced the linked list insert algorithm. We've walked through the sample code and given some abstract examples, showing you what it looks like to insert a new node into an empty list. And I've shown you what it looks like to insert a new node into a non-empty list, maintaining that ascending order. As usual, thanks for watching, and if you're a student of mine, please feel free to stop by my office hours or shoot me an email if you have any questions. If you found this video useful, please uh, consider hitting that like button, maybe hitting that subscribe button as well. It really helps the channel out, and uh, appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.